this video, we're going to be breaking down how to use custom stems in College Football 25. So what you're going to be looking for when you're doing a custom stem is you're looking for routes that have basically cuts or breaks within their routes. For example, as you can see here, this play PA kind of go, this out route to the tight end is going to have a cut in it. Another example be like deep in, you see the corner route, the post route, the dig route, those all have cuts within the route. Wide receiver short post. We'll show you curl flat. We'll get on the field here and show you curl flat. Uh, let me actually just get this with my trips to the wide side of the field. So basically what you're going to be doing, and this is how you do it. You're, when we say custom stem, what we basically mean is you are going to hot route and you're going to see at the bottom this little l1 is going to is going to be the custom stem now what you've got to do and this was a mistake a lot of people make they they tap it you don't want to tap it you want to hold it and when you hold it you see how it brings your play art up and you see how i can move that corner out all the way up all the way down all of these custom stems the same thing will be true of a curl route for example but for example another example would be like a flat You'll notice that when I try to stem him, he does not move. When I do uh, the running back, you'll notice, you see here, when I try to stem him, he does not move. However, a route like a wheel route, for example, I don't know if this one will work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It does on certain wheel routes. So like the slot, cor the slot wheel route, you can stem. The uh, running back wheel route, you can't. And for some reason, the, maybe you can't stem the slot wheel. Maybe, maybe you can't. Maybe there's only certain wheel routes. Uh, that you can stem. You can send some of them, though. I guess there's like stock routes. But but anyway, it's so like a post is a great example. So you see here I can stem, um, and the player is kind of bugged. But you see here, see how I can stem him all the way up, all the way down, you know, based off of whatever. So you hold LB or L L1, and then you drag it with the right stick to wherever you want it to go. So, all right, I'm sorry, not the right stick, the left stick. So I'm holding it down with the left stick, brings us all the way down. This is really effective for these corner routes because these corner routes will get open consistently against zone coverage, right? The stemmed corner route is probably the best thing to do because you could do stuff like this. You motion this guy in and watch this corner route on the left side. You're going to see it's almost like a slant out. It's just going to get in a really, really good spot. It's going to be able to beat man, man, uh, man in zone. Uh, another route that's really good to stem is the in route because you can get instead of going 10 yards where it's going to get played by those yellows, we can actually get it like a 20 yard dig. And I know it sounds kind of crazy, but watch this 20 yard dig. Look how open that is and kind of gets in that soft spot of the zone. So that's how to use custom stems in college football 25. For more tips, make sure you subscribe to the channel.